from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. Lecture three is an emotional one, and the title of it is What If Nikolai Tesla Would Have Invented Venture Capital? Yes, Nikolai Tesla uh, was a person, not just a physicist, engineer, uh, not a car, the way that Elon Musk, which will come up in a second, uh, not the Elon Musk car a Tesla, Nikolai Tesla. What if Nikolai Tesla would have invent invented venture capital? The venture capital world would look significantly differently had Nikolai invented venture versus the Wright brothers inventing venture. Yes, that I will expand on also, the Elon Musk and Wright brothers concept. Nikolai Tesla, for those guys that don't know, got screwed, screwed out of equity. So CS183VC is about venture capital and how we as engineers can, can uh, follow on lecture number two, which is engineering serendipity. How can we as engineers, we as CS majors, we as undergrads, engineer uh, venture serendipity? And let's explore what Nikolai Tesla would have done had he invented venture capital. Nikolai Tesla is a non-employee co-founder of General Electric. Totally got screwed uh, by a banker who basically cut him out of his equity that he generated with George Westinghouse. This makes it tough to talk about because here Y equals zero. And when I say Y equals zero, I mean Nikolai Tesla got zero. And when I say Y equals zero, Peter Thiel, the legendary venture capitalist from Founders Fund, talks about how a lot of times a, a founder will build a massive X amount of value and then they'll get paid Y percentage. X and Y have no corollary. It's just you get in life what you negotiate. Nikolai Tesla, had he invented venture capital, he wouldn't have his own Y equals zero. Y would be some percentage large enough where he didn't have to die poor, alone, and bankrupt, just like Billy Durant, just like a whole host of other people who start companies and then just get nothing. So when Y equals zero, that's a problem, and that's a problem that we're gonna solve inside of lecture three, which follows lecture two, engineering our engineering serendipity. Watch this video where Nikolai Tesla gets completely ignored. This is what happens when we as engineers pitch venture capitalists uh, who basically are exactly a C-3PO. You remember that video, right? C-3PO, tall, pretty, not very useful. Watch Nikolai Tesla completely get ignored in this video. I will begin by showing mm -hmm. you my inventions mm -hmm. for transmitting electricity wirelessly. Sounds great. Hey, do you mind if Josh sits in? Sure. Who's Josh? Nice to meet you. Josh is an EIR. He's thinking of starting a company in your space. That does not sound great. Just leave out the parts you are not comfortable sharing. Or we can reschedule. Since it took a while to schedule... Fantastic. Uh, before you proceed, can you tell us a bit about the market? My inventions allow the wireless mm -hmm. transfer of energy to power mm -hmm. any device. So this is a wireless play or an energy play? Technically, it would be both. Hard to do two things at once. The inventions send energy mm -hmm. wirelessly to any device. Even mobile devices. So this is a mobile play. If this guy thinks he can go after three markets at once... He's crazy. Maybe not three markets, but three big intersecting opportunities. Nick, I think you're sounding a bit defensive. Why don't I show you the inventions? How much are you looking to raise? Between six and eight million. Wow, why so much? Do you have a lead investor yet? Again, this is why I am here. Mark said you like early stage opportunities. We do. We just don't like to invest in them. <laughs> <laughs> The cartoon video of Nikolai Tesla pitching VC is supposed to be hilarious, but I find it hilarious on like 20 different levels. And the reason for that is 
What if Nikolai Tesla, instead of pitching VCs, he himself had experience as a venture capitalist? If he would have, as an engineer, uh, engineered in his serendipity, like the Chris Dovos uh, comment, which is the 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 nut, the the core, the the benefit of being a CS major or an engineer or the co-founder of aerospace engineering. Not even joking here, the Wright brothers, their sister invented venture capital. How? By plowing profits from 1127 West 3rd Street. You should be scared that I memorized this address. Uh, 1127 3rd, West 3rd Street. She took profits from selling bikes, plowed it into starting aerospace engineering, starting an airplane, inventing an airplane. So that profit from bicycles was then used to do airplane building. That is what lecture three is about, is what if Nikolai Tesla would have invented venture capital? He didn't, but the Wright brothers did. And that's a point that everybody's missing. And that's why the Nikolai Tesla video is hilarious on 20 different levels because VCs are all, oh, let's make a funny video about giving Nikolai Tesla a really hard time. But look at why Tesla was named that by Elon Musk is because Elon Musk did all these things that the Wright brothers did. Kind of coming clear? Think I'm joking? Is your head about to explode? Continue on because there's going to be more in addition to 1127 West 3rd Street. There's a VC that you guys need to know about. His name is Justin Kahn. He went to school in the New Haven area, Yale, and he got his early start doing Wright Brothers sister-like behavior, aka selling, from selling maps. Uh, him and his brother would sell maps for his mom. His mom sold real estate. Early sales experience, early venture capital experience, early business development experience, uh, are some of the things that he backed into. Later on, he sold a company on eBay to, for $258,100. You should be scared that I memorize all these silly hashtags that are comedic but real. Hashtag silly, S-I-L-L-Y, silly con, K-N, Justin Khan's last name. Hashtag silly con valley is double entendre, which I love, for Silicon Valley. These are the things that we do to engineer serendipity as an R2D2 VC. These are the things that we're engineering as re-engineering venture capital, which is CS183 VC. Look up Justin Kahn and what he sold before doing a joke startup, which was uh, Justin TV, which led the social cam, which was precursed by the company that he sold for $258,100 on eBay, which then sold Twitch to Amazon for $970 million. These pictures are meant to convey information. These seemingly silly joke hashtags are conveying a great deal of information that was what venture capital would look like had Nikolai Tesla invented venture capital. In pictures, the picture that we're first gonna look at is what Altair Basic, is this the Microsoft of? That's a Paul Graham blog post. You should write that. Let me repeat that. What Altair Basic, is this the Microsoft of? The diagram that you're looking at is what Twitch, is this the company Amazon pays $970 million for? Let me repeat that. What Twitch, T-W-I-T-C-H, Justin Khan started it. What Twitch, is this the Amazon company that Amazon pays $970 million for. So that little cigar shape plugs directly into the chasm. And if you're trying to get early traction, you've got to focus on something incredibly specific, which is what Twitch did. Prior to Twitch, what Social Cam did. Prior to that, what uh, Social Cam did. What the email startup client did. So these baby startups, these baby things 
are what you're going to be doing as an R2D2 VC, what you're going to be doing as a venture capital practicing CS major that's moonlighting as a venture capitalist. So you're going to be doing these things, and these things would all already be done had Nikolai Tesla invented venture capital. And what you're doing is you're, you're DJing money using these different protocols. Because if you're an engineer and you combine sales skills, that's what CS183 Lecture 3 is honing in on. Pop culture. Papa John's sold a Camaro, a Chevrolet Camaro, for $3,000 to try to start up Papa John's pizza business. Same thing with Under Armour. Kevin Plank, he sold flowers to fund initially his jerseys. So we've got the Wright Brothers selling bikes to fund airplanes. We've got Papa John selling a Camaro. Thank you, Darren Ravel, who's over at ESPN, that same who uh, talks about business of sports. We have Justin Kahn selling maps to fund a portion of his education at New Haven. We have a lot of CS majors who could potentially sell, and that's what Nikolai Tesla was so close to doing, but he did not do because he was thinking that his stuff would sell itself. He was thinking his genius of physics would sell itself. And the Wright brothers realized that people who are old with money, they're so dumb. So dumb. Money actually makes you more dumb. So if you are smart enough to get money in the first place, if a fool and his money meet for the first time, it was luck. If they depart, that's cliche. Old people with money, incredibly dumb. So if no one's gonna give you money for a working prototype called an airplane that flies and has been in flight for two hours, if they're not gonna give you money for a working prototype that's staring them in the face, go sell more bicycles. That's the FU of, I've got bike money coming in. I don't need you to believe that an airplane can fly, even though I've got a working airplane that can drop a grenade on you. That's what happens, and that's why why Papa John's Pizza, every time you see a Papa John's Pizza, realize that he had to sell his Camaro. Every time you see Under Armour, realize that Kevin had to sell roses door to door to try to get money to get jerseys, uh, and this, his cigar shape is what what Altair Basic is this a Microsoft of? He didn't do Altair Basic. He did uh, compression uh, shirts that you would wear underneath football pads uh, in Maryland. So that was the item which later grew to the Under Armour line of clothing. This is the portion that's actionable. This is the portion that you should be furiously rewinding and going back note to take notes and write this down to Stram GT 353. Stram GT 353. It's not to be confused with uh, GSB Ben uh, 585. Stram G 585 is the supermodel class that Tyra Banks is currently teaching. Let me repeat that. GSB hashtag GSB Ben as in Benjamin. GSB Ben 585. That's the class that Tyra Banks is teaching. It's all in my Twitter feed uh, searching GSB Ben 585. Stram GT 353 is a search fund. A search fund is a company where you fundraise for a very specific reason, which is buying a company, improving it, and then selling it. So your search fund is a fund where you raise money to buy a company, and then after you buy the company, you improve it, and then you sell it. CS183VC is a SQL class to Stram GT 353, which is you're not going to be required to raise a fund for CS183VC. You just need to throw in a little bit of code and a couple of business protocols. I sound like I'm repeating myself, right? This is all lecture one stuff. So these business protocols were taught to me by my mentor. And my mentor course is Mark McCormick, and these signature business protocols are timely infusions of money as a VC. So this is what Nikolai Tesla would have done had he have met Mark McCormick, my mentor. And I know that there's a time distortion to it, but that's okay because it, time is a flat circle 
and we're all just beings. If Nikolai Tesla would have met Mark McCormack, what what awesome things would have happened as as engineers being the first VCs? Getting a banker to be your first VC? Watch the movie Something Ventured. These bankers trying to buy technology, it's like your grandfather trying to debug his iPad or trying to find the app store so that way he can start using Uber. I mean, he thinks that the app store is like near Main Street, near University, near freaking Deal Road in Naperville. I mean, that's where he thinks the app store is. So watch something ventured. These old people with money trying to buy technology, you just want to kill yourself. You seriously want to kill yourself. Why not have Nikolai Tesla buy the technology? He's an engineer. If he would have invented venture capital, I wouldn't have to go on these rants and CS183 VC it wouldn't even be a lecture series that's so popular. We're super popular. CS183 VC lecture three wraps with what if Nikolai Tesla would have been, uh, would have started venture capital? And this is also another thing, I'm not even joking. Chris Dixon wrote about how, what if Aristotle would have started uh, computer science, and he makes this argument in the Atlantic. Here are your to-do items. Here's your action list. One, write down the StramGT, hashtag StramGT353. It's a search fund, but instead of a search fund where the money searches for a company to buy, know that you as a CS major, or as you as a developer, you as an engineer, can infuse a little bit of code and a little bit of signature business protocols. Basically, business that's done in a very recipe, methodic, protocol, chef way. That's what Gua Gua Guacamole previewed from Engineering 145. Gua Gua Guacamole is not a speech impediment. Gua Gua Guacamole is a sequel to Lululemon, where it's just a more complicated form of guacamole. It's a better form of guacamole. And what you're doing with these protocols and these signature business recipes, you don't just show up somewhere and hope, you show up by doing a ton of preparation. And that's what it means to be street smart. I hope you uh, have lots of luck that you're gonna be engineering. Wait, you don't need luck. You're engineering your own serendipity. That is what Nikolai Tesla would have done had he invented venture capital.